Today then on the channel we'll have our first video for the awesome looking Gotham Knights, a game that's out in just 5 months time and it was confirmed today it will be next gen only. Now we had a gameplay video today that was around about 12 minutes or so and we got to find out a ton of new information in the game so that's what we will be breaking down. So we've got details on combat, traversal which looks absolutely mind blowingly good. We get to see the game's UI and we can break that down and we've got some information on outfits and crafting and gear and how that will actually work as well. So we'll start off with the traversal here because this is the part that I really loved when I seen this. So we look to have four different types of traversal that will be available in the game. This first one we're looking at is just an, an entrance animation of sorts. This is known as the fast bat but it does look absolutely incredible. I don't think I'll get bored of fast travelling when the animation looks this good. We then have your more universal traversal methods so these will be available to all heroes. Now the first one we have here again looks absolutely amazing. This is the bat cycle so this will be available for all heroes and we can get various different skins for this as well. Now next up, it's not been confirmed this is universal but I'm pretty certain it will be, we have the grapple hook, you can see Red Hood using this here, very similar to the Batman games and then finishing up you have your hero specific traversal. So the first one we look at is Red Hood, he's very athletic looking, he's got a mystical leap and then finishing up we have Nightwing here with his glider. So as mentioned earlier on in the video, traversal options look absolutely amazing, it really is going to be a lot of fun to, to fly and leap all around Gotham City. We have a quick look at the player hub next here, and this is the Belfry hub, you can see Alfred sitting at the table, the other heroes you'll actually see here as well. There's Robin working out, now the reason I'm looking at this particular section is it leads perfectly into the crafting UI that we got a look at, so let's check that out. So this is the crafting menu here, you'll see that it's available under the gear section at the top and we've actually got loadout, crafting, mods and style. We'll be able to talk about mods a little bit more later on in the video. For this crafting menu you'll be able to craft suits for your heroes, melee weapons as well as range weapons. You've got various different materials you need to use to actually craft them and those materials will drop from enemies when you're playing the game and you'll get them as mission rewards as well. Now before we do actually look at the crafting menu in a bit more detail, you've got the loadout section here which also comes under the gear tab. So you've got your various different items you can use in your character on the left hand side, you've got a health pack and a smoke bomb, so you'll be able to customise them. And then for your character you've got your suit, your melee weapon and your ranged weapon. Now you'll notice you've actually got a status effect attached to this, so the ranged one for example you can see the little frost icon and it's called modular cryogenic darts. So for different suits you'll be able to equip different items and there'll be various different status effects that are available in the game. I think the only one we really know about so far is probably your frost and your fire, we do actually see that in the demo. You've then got your different stats for your character, so you've got a power level, I imagine this will be similar to Marvel's Avengers and Destiny, so you've got a rough idea if your gear is powerful enough to take on a particular piece of content, and then you've got your more regular stats like your health, armour, you've got melee and range damage, as well as your crit chance for those particular damage types as well. So we can now have a look at various different suits that are available in the game now. Each of the different ones that was actually shown in the video, they have a unique aspect of them, which is pretty interesting. So what I'll do is I'll talk about that particular aspect. So this particular suit, what stood out for me in this is the fact that it's a legendary rarity. And for legendary rarity items, you can actually see that they've got a grade. This doesn't apply to other items. So this particular one, the current grade on it is 0 out of 2. How you actually raise that, I'm not sure, but that is unique to your legendary outfits. This next particular suit, what's unique about this is you'll see that on the right hand side for the various different stats it offers or bonuses it offers, one of them is actually momentum generation. I'm pretty certain momentum will be when you build up your bar so you can do takedowns of enemies very similar to the previous Batman games. But in this instance it's a jump start suit and it's got an additional 52% momentum generation so this could be for a takedown style build. So this next suit we have here is a team up toxic suit, so that's actually a third status effect we do have, we've got frost fire and then we've got toxic stroke poison as well and you can see with this one it actually gives you elemental resistance, so because you've got loadouts, if you're going up against certain enemies, let's say you're fighting Mr Freeze as a boss then you want to wear gear that has for example freeze elemental resistance on it. The final suit we have here then for Nightwing is the new Knight suit. Now what I'll point out with this particular one is just below conditional stats, you'll see you've got your, your five different squares there that are all blank. 
these are mods, we don't know too much about mods, or say we don't know too much, we don't really know anything about them at the moment, but different gear sets will have space for more mods, so obviously the one that's got the more mod slots available, the stronger that gear set will be. But that's all the sets for Nightwing, let's have a quick look at the ones that are available for Red Hood. So we have four different suits here we can see for Red Hood. We've covered a breakdown of all the different aspects of suits and it's really just showing them off here so you can see what different styles will be available for them. So with this screenshot we've got here it actually gives us a real good look at various different elements of the UI and this is the first time we've actually seen this. So you'll complete missions in the game of course, you'll gain XP and crafting materials from that. When you gain XP you'll level up gaining ability points for your character. Down the, the bottom left here, you can see in the D-pad there's various options. So you've got your bat cycle, which is up in the D-pad. You've got what I assume will be emotes, which is left on the D-pad. Down on the D-pad, I imagine, will be augmented reality, which is a detective vision of sorts, and we'll look at that later on in the video. And then right on the D-pad is your med kit and your smoke pellets. You then have your momentum-based moves that you need to do combos first to build up the bar, and then when it's built up, you can see you have various different options for the one that you actually use. So we have a quick clip here of the augmented reality vision in action and actually looking at the gameplay from a second ago you could see they actually pressed down in the d-pad to activate that so that's exactly what that will be and it looks to be very similar to the setup we had in the previous batman games as well so we have a quick look at the map screen here and then once we've done that we'll finish up with a breakdown of some of the gameplay and combat that was actually shown. So you can see you've got a mission shown up here when you hover over it and it's actually telling you a difficulty for the mission. So that's interesting and not something we've seen before in the Batman games. And then on the right hand side it looks like there's various different missions that are available. That's your criminal activities. When we looked at the UI earlier on we could see that the crime was resolved. So these will be random missions that will appear over the map and you can go to them to level up and get some crafting materials as well. But let's finish up by having a look at the combat that will be available in the game. So we start off here with some stealth gameplay in regards to combat. So again, similar to the, the previous games, you can choose to go in all guns blazing or you can choose to go for a stealthy approach, which will probably be the best option to actually thin down the enemies firstly. Now, also similar to the previous Batman games, it was mentioned in this gameplay video, when you take down an enemy, you can choose to do a longer silent takedown or you can choose to do a quicker takedown, but it will actually generate some noise so there's a chance you may get caught when you're actually doing that. But let's have a look at the more active combat Finishing up here then, we had a ton of more combat gameplay. Now, not surprisingly, it's very similar to the previous games in the series. You have white attacks that you can counter, and then you have red attacks that you need to dodge. There looks to be a new ground AOE effect as well, so it gives you time to actually dodge out of the way of that. You build up your momentum bar, and this allows you to do combos, including various different takedowns, including dual takedowns as well. So that will be a lot of fun. In regards to combat for Nightwing, he's an acrobatic style character. He's got a ton of mobility as you would expect for him. For Red Hood he looks to be a slower character but he can control enemies to an extent by staggering them with his non-lethal rounds and in the gameplay we actually seen that he can attach a bomb to enemies and then detonate it by shooting it as well. So everything we actually seen looked completely amazing in this video. It was a game that I was relatively excited for but I had some concerns but after seeing this video I'm all aboard the hype train for it. Now do let me know what you think of the video in the comments below and are you now excited for the game on the back of this most recent gameplay review and if you found the video helpful take the time to hit the like, share and subscribe button and we'll look to get out a lot more content for the game going forward as well. But thanks for tuning in, stay safe, I'll see you all again soon.